the gentle red of pain. The first time we made love, I bled on his sheets, a libation of sorts. I blessed the very union of our togetherness. When he orgasmed, he left whispers and promises lined against my uterine walls, and I scratched the insides of clouds with the edges of my smile. The second time we touched, we felt the past between us. He cried and held me. I closed my eyes, silenced my ears as the whispers turned into sobs, into screams, into blades, into lies, into the truth of all love can and cannot be, the ultimate weapon, and there was no blood. Already our children have died marching, hoping we shall overcome. We have counted their days, their bodies lying side by side in faith, waited for their souls to ascend, scattered their tears for the air to catch. In my womb, in my womb, I hold broken centuries, footprints from Atlanta to Johannesburg. In my womb, there are murals with syllables overflowing. There is yet another child gnawing on the raw flesh of this world. So I have to believe all the dreams do not lie slain. I am still here, wet with him, with the gentle red of pain left to be shed. I want him to touch me again, for us to make thunderstorms of love a third, 18th, and 50th time, until we make life with our fears. Time must keep its promises. There are more stories to be told. There are more prayers to be chanted. All the poems, all the poems are still not too ripe for the taste of this season. <laughs>